Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I am Justin, and on today, we're gonna go over this pedal here. So today, in our quest for guitar tones and pedals and kind of the stuff we're doing lately on, on this, uh, one is we've got, uh, we kind of did a review on the, uh, the MX-5 from Headrush. Cool pedal, um, be great if you played live and you didn't need amps and stuff, but we use amps here. And um, not that that's good or bad or any way, but you know, we'd like to show you um, how we do stuff analog-ish as opposed to digital pedal boards. Um, not saying floorboards like that are bad or good or any way, they just didn't work for me uh, and my rig setup. Uh, but today um, we have this guy. And I'm trying to get the glare off it a little bit. It is, uh, let's see, what is this guy? Oh, it's Keeley's DM drive. And I hear it's uh, in partner with some guys on YouTube uh, that kind of helped put it together. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember the name of their, their YouTube. I'm kind of falling over my words there. Um, but uh, I'll try to maybe link it down in the comments or in the description or something, yeah, if I can find it. Um, I've watched their YouTube, it's, it's cool. They talk about pedals and stuff and guitars and all sorts of crazy things. Um, something that I'm trying to start a little bit here, but, uh, but today we're gonna go over this guy and um, basically the DMN drive, D and M drive, D and M, uh, is a boost on this side. You can see where my finger's at. Boost, and this side's a drive. So the white knobs are all boost settings, black knobs are all drive settings. And then you've got on and off switch. Um, basically has a level, a gain, and a tone. And then this fancy little switch in the middle, which you probably can't see too well. Get a little closer there. Um, there's a switch right, right there, right at the tip of my finger. It's a tiny little, little dip switch here. Um, but it's uh, an order switch on which one comes first. You can either have the drive first or the boost first, or yeah. And the nice thing is you can switch them mid-show if you'd like to, if you're playing a gig and you're like, oh, this next song we need to have boost first so we get a little more high gain type sound or something or you know whatever you're trying to go for. Uh, that's kind of the, the niche of it. But this is just kind of um, kind of what we're using right now, and I don't know if we'll ever. I've played with both, and I personally, for me, I like the boost first, boost into drive. Um, so you can kind of change the tonality of your drive a little bit. Um, I have played with either setting, either having one or the other first. Um, but just for me, it's it's better to have, for my settings and my taste, it's better for me to have the boost first over the drive first. Um, but yeah, it, it's a nice, it's got a nice overdrive to it. Kind of, um, it's kind of a warm, it can be a nice warm drive, or it can be a little brighter, depending on how you have your tone setting set. Um, my boost settings though, I tend to have my, you can kind of see here a little bit. Um, in my, you know, get a little closer. Ta-da. Um, my tone on this guy for my boost is a little brighter because I kind of want um, my drive to be a little darker. So when I click it on, it'll brighten that drive up and make it more of a almost kind of high gain. I go into an AC30, so it's going to be kind of bright anyway. So I tend to do a little uh, a little bit of a, a darker drive into my amp. Given my amp, it has a little bit of overdriven on it with the tubes and stuff. Um, maybe one day we'll I'll pan over to that side and you you can see. A, my AC30 that sits off to my to my left, your right. Um, but uh, yeah, the pedal though itself, um, we bought it from Guitar Center. Um, you know, it has an in and an out, and it also has power. So you know, I'm pretty. I haven't opened it up to see if it also takes a nine volt. Most pedals these days do. Don't see why it wouldn't. Not necessary for me because I've got pedal power over here. Um, that powers like a few other pedals. Um, but overall, absolutely love this thing. 
Um, I love the fact that you have a boost and an overdrive in one, and I've tried others, and the others, I couldn't quite get the sound that I like out of this guy. Um, this guy kind of reminds me a little Klon meets Tube Screamer meets OCD a little bit, depending on how you have it set. Um, and the boost, honestly, I haven't messed with a lot of boosts personally because I haven't, I've just kind of started using them. Um, but I do like the fact on this one, you have the same type of settings on both sides. Um, so I can, if I want my boost to be a little kind of high gainy, really bright, overdriven, I can, I can set the gain, just max it out and go on from there. But um, currently I like the way it's set up now. Um, maybe we'll do a video where we kind of go over some drive options, kind of how it sounds, you know, anything that might, uh, basically just kind of how my rig sounds. I'm still kind of putting it together. Um, I, I did a short video kind of going over like, yeah, we're gonna kind of be, you know, going through guitar tone land, you know, journey. So this is kind of video one of that. Um, but, you know, as I rant on here, I kind of, I'm kind of trying to think of how I want to end this, but you know, that's part one. So I don't really have to care how I end it quite yet. Uh, but this is the first in my chain before, after my tuner. Next in my chain, when we get the time, will be some effects and other stuff. But, you know, look out for more videos. And also, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, you know, watch out for more stuff that we got coming. And we will see you next time.